Good morning everyone, it's Mary and I want to welcome you back to my channel. Today is floss tube number 19 and it is Tuesday, October 5th, 2021 and it's my favorite time of the year and it keeps going up and down with the weather. You know, we had a little cool snap a couple weeks ago and then it warmed back up again and now I think it's very confused, but that's okay. I went yesterday, last night was warm. My husband's like, we had a game to go to for my son. And he's like, you sure you don't want to wear pants? I'm like, oh no, it'll be fine. And then by the end of the game, when the sun went down, it was a little brisk, but nothing that I couldn't handle. But I'm just gonna have to remember that it is getting towards the fall, actual fall season. So, ah, gonna have to have backup jackets and all that good stuff. But I hope the weather is doing well for you and you're having lots of fun. I do miss North Carolina because my son and I were talking about it. And anybody that has either visited or has gone or has lived near Hampton Roads, Virginia area, when you're going towards Nags Head, there is this really wonderful, um, they have all kinds of ciders and wine and and um, fruits and vegetables. It's called Morris Farms. And they usually have a lot of big tractors in the front. And we bought some apple cider here, but it's just commercialized and it just doesn't taste as good. I mean, they had all different kinds of flavors like peach cider and it was so good. So anybody that's traveling through or is considering going you know to that area i strongly encourage you to to stop by there they have pumpkin patches where you can pick your pumpkins and i just remember all the good memories you know with the kids we'd go there and you know we'd go with their um schools and stuff like that for field trips and so sometimes i do reminisce and, and this that area but i'm trying to embrace Kentucky it's just to me not as much to do here but that gives me more time to stitch even though work has been crazy pants and I've been so tired I've made progress but I got one little finish that I'm going to show you now everything is out of order so it's going to be less organized than normal but I hope you don't mind the first thing I finished was my small that I did for my travel project. So this was the one that was Amy Brecken. It was from the 2012 Just Cross Dish issue. And it was called Just a Little Puppy. And this is the finished. I am just a very simple finisher. I wish I could say I, I was as good as Helen B or Michelle McGraw, but keep it simple and I'm okay with it and I think I'm going to take this off because the um, hot glue is a little thick I try to use other glue and I think I'm just going to pull it off and try to scrape as much as I can and just kind of sew it together but at least it's on for now it gives me a visual and I like it and then this is the fabric for my stash and I love the flowers it's so so yes, I'm so happy to have this in my September and November basket. Okay. The next one is the next small that I'm working on. And I hope to complete it today because um, I have so very little to do. And so the one I chose was Pumpkin Moon Sampler by um, Jamie Kyle of Not A Tree Needle Art. This is what it looks like. And I hope they don't mind that I made some changes. And the changes are the color palette. Anybody that has known me for any length of time could probably tell I'm not super primitive. Not that I won't do primitive things, but I kind of lean towards the brighter, um, especially for Halloween. But this one, I just wanted to kind of use fabric that I had in my stash. I like to keep remnants for projects like this, just smalls. So I'm omitting the border as much as it pains me 
I've got other things I need to push forward for Christmas. So I'm just going to have some fabric as my border instead. And you'll see it next time because I'll have it finished by then. But this is what it looks like now. So basically I brightened it up. This was some fabric. It was Monica that I hand dyed myself just experimenting. I can't remember what the big project was that I did, but a lot of fun. So I decided to make the moon a yellow. And I believe I'm using 445 on that one. The orange for the pumpkin is left over from the orange that I just finished with this other project. And just some miscellaneous gray and green from another project that I kind of put on the back burner. And um, yeah, so I just got a little bit of the moon left and to fill in the black and the pumpkin for the eyes in the back. And can't wait to get this one finished. It's a lot of fun. Okay. So I guess we're going to go with... Um, I got I basically concentrate on thread this time around. So when I sew, when I brought everything out to get to my sewing desk, there was a pattern, and I can't show you yet until I stitch it because it's free, and the ideas that I have around it. But it's something small that I wanted to give my sister-in-laws because I didn't really make of anything last year. So, I want to do Mardi Gras because it has to do with the Mardi Gras vibe. Um, my in-laws live in the New Orleans, Louisiana area, and they really love Mardi Gras. So, I looked on 123 Stitch, and they didn't have the color available. And I really wanted to get it as soon as possible because as soon as I completed my small, I'm going to put this in its place. So... I went online to Etsy and I found Encora Crafts. And here's her card so you can see. And I'll put her info below. She mainly has some patterns that she's done herself, you know, digitally. And a lot of variegated floss. And you know the love I have for variegated floss. So I was very fortunate that she had the one that I wanted in stock. It's um, 20 yards. It's Threadworks, which I love their colors. 1153 Mardi Gras. I also pulled out some DMC floss that will kind of match with this. And hopefully I'll show you what my plans are. I'm sorry it's not very exciting. But when you see it, you'll know. The next thing I pulled, well, I picked out was um, number 53 in DMC, which I love. And these are a whole bunch of different color grays. And I will definitely be buying more of this color. I really, really like it. And it, the, from really dark to almost black to the palest gray. So I hope to do some Halloween things with that. Speaking of Halloween. So then I decided that I wanted some sulky. I needed some more of the Ecru for my pandemic. And I was having a hard time finding it. I could have went through one, two, three stitch, but I said, well, I would want to buy patterns and I'm just going to stick those in the house yet. So I went on Sulky's website and yeah, I'm so glad I did. So the first thing I picked out, they had a Halloween palette. And so this is all the colors. And it just sucked me in. So they have a couple other things. I want to get the Christmas next time around. And I just love how they just do the work for you. I can't wait to start on some projects. I've got a lot of ideas going on. And then the next one, of course, i got two more of the Ecru. Oops. And then they have some metallic. So I'm kind of intrigued by it so I just got the clear white metallic it looks kind of thin so I'm interested to see how it's going to stitch up and then I brought true red which 
I want to I want to do more samplers with red. So I thought that would be really nice. And that was it for that. So shipping for both of these folks were very easy and I got it in a timely fashion. So I'm grateful for that. So moving on to my whips. I worked on Halloween. I didn't quite finish the first part, but that's okay. This is what it looks like so far. And I knew I wasn't going to get it done for this Halloween, and, I, and that's fine. It's getting me festive, and that's okay. I'll finish it for next year. So I hope in a couple weeks to put some more stitches into that so I have more to show you next time. I did have to make a decision. And my decision was that I don't want to put this one in for my long piece. I think if I do anything, I'm going to do the second part as an individual pillow. Because I don't know, I'm not feeling it in the belt pull. I, I just don't feel like doing that right now. But I think as a pillow, it would be super cute. So that means the next one after May is going to be July, which, where are we, July? Let's see, July. It's somewhere. I probably have it under my printer because I found that it's easy for me to print it out instead of working with the, you know, the fold because then the fold wants to unfold and I don't want to ruin the crease. The last thing I worked on, and I had to put it away because I was just getting, I was getting bored and I was making a dumb mistake. I ripped it out and I'm like, nope, Mary, don't, don't do that to yourself. But this is one that's definitely going to be finished. I'm going to say end of the year. I like to say the end of the month, but I don't like to make pro those kind of promises, you know. Because you don't know what's going to happen. My stitching mojo and all that stuff. But you can see significant progress. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to fill around with what I ripped out because you can see it a little bit. But that's okay. And that's my love birds. So now I'm headed towards the bottom part. I finished the bird, which was so exciting for me. I'm so happy. And just really trying to bring that and do the um, the little flower that's coming up in the middle. And that's going to be next time. And I've really enjoyed the process on this one. And basically, I only worked on it in the mornings before work if I've had, you know, if I get a chance. So, I'll go down about 5, I'll have some coffee, chat with my husband, have a little breakfast. He wasn't really feeling very well. I think he had a summer cold. So, I got to sneak upstairs before my shower and get a little extra stitching time. So... That's why I got a lot more done in the time frame than I normally would have because this is an early morning project. The next thing, and this is something I want to work on today and tomorrow because this is my two days off for the week. Um, I did that last week and, it, and I just was so comfortable in doing that. And that's my son's elephant. And um, I'll show you the pattern. It's by True Colors. It's called Midnight Elephant. And I'm doing this one. Now, I know it's really hard to tell, but there is so much color changes. It's manageable because it's not just confetti, but you would, have, you would be amazed of the detail that's coming around with this ear. And I know it's going to, he's going to really love it. And he's always appreciative of my work. 
but this is it. And you can tell I got quite a bit done. So my goal, looking at the picture, about here is where the eye is going to be. So I think I'm just going to ease my way to the right and get to the eye. And that way, next time you see it, it's going to actually look like more than just gray blob. And I'm just going to fill in then. And then I think I'll feel a little bit like I've made some really great progress. So look for the eye, <laughs> the elephant eye next time. But yeah, I'm really excited to work on that today and tomorrow. And then last but not least was pandemic. I wish I could say that I did tremendous amount, but I've done enough. And I also have a page finish. So I focused on the left and you can see I did the little girl. And I think there's a little boy on the other side. And that was my page finish. So I feel really, really good. And I'm just going to concentrate on working on page 11 and move down like that because I fudged up and I got an extra stitch and I need to work around that. And so that's why I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to work on that portion and, and make sure and make sure I feel comfortable, you know, before I do anything else. So that's where my mind's going to be. You can't really tell. It's just a matter of making it, making sure it all works out at the end, you know? So it doesn't compromise the other pages. And that's all I have to show you. I want to say thank you to my, my friend Sharon. I got my card yesterday. Um, I'm so glad that you got the chart. I hope the other winner received her chart as well. They all got mailed out at the same time. And it really meant a lot to me. As well as just getting to know all my subscribers. Um, just the friendships that I've acquired through all the social media um, really means a lot to me because I'm a real big introvert. And I don't get out a lot and I don't do a lot of things. I'm kind of a homebody. So to know that I can have these connections, you know, when we talk, when you comment and I'm able to comment on your, your, you know, back, it just really has meant a lot to me. So I hate to make plans because, you know, I go with my feeling. I wake up and I, what I plan on stitching, I might not feel like I want to, but I'm really hoping that I could do a little bit of the elephant this morning and tomorrow, and then maybe work on pandemic because I've kind of put that aside for a few days and do that tonight if I have a chance. And then I want to put something different in rotation because I don't want to show you the same things all the time. But I know for a fact that I want to really persevere with Love Bird. So it's not going to be the, it's not going to be on Thursday. I might do my ink circles and do a little bit of work on that and then Love Bird. And then throw some Halloween in there at the end. But I like to keep in suspense as well so we'll see we'll see i don't really have any plans to buy any stash um i'm hoping to put dice and fabric I'm, i was in the mood last week and my husband came home early which i'm never going to be sad about that i enjoy spending time with him but i think you know hopefully in the next couple of weeks i'll have some fabric dyed or some floss so I could show you because I always I always enjoy doing it, especially this time of year. And with that being said, I'm going to get off for now. And that way y'all can watch other videos because there's so many great people out there. As far as personally, we're doing great. So I'll talk to you soon in the next couple weeks. And I hope you have a great time stitching. Take care. Bye now.